The oceans cover about 70% of the Earth's surface, and about 97% of all water on the Earth is salty. That's right, there's a lot of salty water on our planet. But have you ever wondered why the seawater is salty? Where did all this salt come from? In this video, we will find out how the seawater became salty. Rocks on land are the major source of salts, dissolved in the seawater. The carbon dioxide in the air dissolved in water forms weak carbonic acid. This makes rainwater slightly acidic. The rain physically breaks down the rocks into pieces. The acids chemically break down the rocks into salts and minerals in dissolved states or ions. Rivers drain into the oceans. Essentially, the water in the ocean collects all of the salts and minerals from all of the rivers that flow into it. While water evaporates from the ocean, the salt gets left behind and makes the seawater salty. Some of the salts were added to the seawater a long time ago during the volcanic eruptions as well. Gases and spewing lava eventually went into the ocean. Another source of salts in the ocean is hydrothermal vents on the seafloor. Ocean water seeps into cracks in the seafloor and is heated by magma from the Earth's core. The heat causes a series of chemical reactions. The water tends to lose oxygen, magnesium, and sulfates, and pick up metals such as iron, zinc, and copper from surrounding rocks. The heated seawater is released through the vents on the seafloor carrying the metals with it. Some ocean salts come from underwater volcanic eruptions, which directly releases mineral into the ocean. These vents are the exit points on the ocean floor. Seawater seeps into the rocks of the oceanic crust and dissolves some of the minerals from the crust, and then flows back into the ocean. With the hot water comes large amounts of dissolved minerals. So, just how much salt is in the ocean? Well, the salinity or saltiness of the ocean is fairly stable at about 35 parts per thousand. This means that in every liter of water, there are 35 grams of salt. Here's a fun fact for you. If we took all the salt out of the ocean and spread it over the land, the salt would form a layer more than 500 feet deep. That's about the height of a 40-story building. Incredible. You might think the ocean would become increasingly salty over time, but it does not. This is because many of the dissolved ions in the ocean are taken in by the organisms in the ocean. Another factor may be the formation of new minerals. But hey, why aren't lakes salty? Lakes get water from streams and rivers just like the oceans. Lakes are in contact with the ground as well. Well, lakes tend not to be salty because water often leaves lakes to continue its trip towards the sea. According to an article in Science Daily, a drop of water and its associated ions will remain in one of the Great Lakes for about 200 years. On the other hand, a water droplet and its salts may remain in the ocean for 100 to 200 million years. However, some lakes are indeed salty. Think of the Great Salt Lake. Great Salt Lake is salty because it does not have an outlet. Branched rivers are constantly bringing in small amounts of salts in their freshwater flow. Once in the Great Salt Lake, much of the water evaporates, leaving the salt behind. Isolated bodies of water can become extra salty or even hypersaline through evaporation. Its high salt content increases the water's density, which is why people float in the Dead Sea more easily than in the ocean. Although some lakes are filled with water that contains salts, they may not actually taste salty. Water tastes salty if it contains sodium ions and chloride ions. So what is the most abundant salt in the ocean? It is sodium chloride, the ordinary table salt. Like other salts, sodium chloride dissolves in water into its ions. Sodium and chloride ions. Together, they make up around 85% of all dissolved ions in the ocean. Magnesium and sulfate make up another 10% of the total. Other ions, such as calcium and potassium, are found in very small concentrations. 
the salinity or saltiness of the ocean remains fairly constant over time. However, it does differ slightly in different areas. In some areas near shore, fresh water from rivers and streams may cause the ocean to be less salty. The same may happen at the poles where there is a lot of ice. As the weather warms and the ice melts, the ocean will have less salinity. In the Antarctica, the salinity can be around 34 parts per thousand in some places. The Mediterranean Sea is an area with more salinity. This is because it is relatively closed off from the rest of the ocean and has warm temperatures leading to lots of evaporation. And we know that when water evaporates, the salt is left behind. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.